In this experiment, we're going to demonstrate that if the voltage remains the same, changes in resistance will inversely affect the current flow. So we'll start out, we'll measure the resistance of R1. 99.8, so 100 ohms. Turn the circuit on. We've got 12 volts applied to 100 ohms. We've got 123 milliamps. I'll move to R2. R2, 0.987 K ohms, so that's 987 ohms. Turn the circuit on, and we'll measure the voltage. 12 volts through 1,000 ohms, and I have 0.013 amps, so 13 milliamps. See, current went down by a factor of 10. We'll move to R3. We'll measure the resistance. 9.9 K, so 9,900 ohms. We'll measure the voltage. 12.07 volts, 12 volts. And our current flow is 0 0.002 amps. Now we're down low enough where we're not getting a true accurate reading, so let's go to a lower scale. One thousand two hundred and ten microamps. So if we converted that to milli, that's one point two one milliamps. 12 volts, 10,000 ohms, 1.21 milliamps. As you can clearly see, each time the resistance went up 10 times, voltage staying the same, current flow went down 2 times. Changes in resistance inversely affect the current flow.